So hi, it's John Reed, JDOD.com, uh, back at Sensatel for another look at what they're doing with HANA around innovating their products and building new solutions. So we got a solution architect here. So how's that? We got Sanjay Bhatt. How's it going? Yeah, I'm pretty well. Thank you very much. So you saw the first shoot, so you kind of know what we touched on from a go-to-market go to perspective. So now I want to dig in a little bit to the tools. Sure. Now, you're kind of what I might think of as one of the more senior HANA guys in terms of you got certification early. How did you even find out about that? Oh, well, actually, uh, when I heard about SAP HANA and when I heard about in-memory appliances, uh, that, that clicked me, like as a, as a core developer, having 15, 16 years of experience working on technology and the way the uh, world is moving and innovations are coming. Uh, and, and that is, again, innovation by SAP. Uh, that gave me interest looking into that and then I find yes, this is the way world is going as a developer community should look into that and being a senior developer, I started looking into that. And one great thing happened during that journey that SAP has given SAP HANA free developer license and uh, released that on uh, Amazon Web Services. So that was my start point to start looking into SAP HANA. And then I went into uh, on, on experiencehana.com or there I find more resources to look into and to explore that technology. And we started looking into uh, SAP HANA and that I thought, okay, any uh, technology if I have to learn, it is best way to go for certification so that I know basic stuff to start with and I can lay the ground where I have to run. So I did my certification and then uh, we discussed uh, like with Ray that how we can uh, leverage this technology for uh, providing our solution, which can be a best solution in market. And then we decided to go for SAP HANA that way. Now, with Ray, talked a little bit about uh, the retail solution staff caster that you guys have built. And you're also looking at other industry use cases. What are some of the keys? I know you've been talking some about, for example, predictive analytics in HANA, mm -hmm. maybe uh, R and big data with HANA. What are some of the uh, tools around HANA that you're going to take advantage of as you go to market with these solutions? Uh, obviously, like uh, when, when we talk about uh, big data and SAP HANA, uh, HANA has a very nice uh, integration with R, where you can use R's open source libraries and use uh, those functions uh, calling through HANA, right? And uh, also uh, SAP HANA has a predictive analytical libraries, PAL. And uh, when we started developing this solution, we had a very small number of data, uh, means volume of data, and we called our library. So uh, throughput and uh, it's, it's, uh, it was very fast, means we haven't uh, faced any bottleneck over there. But thinking ahead as a solution architect, I think uh, we, we started looking more into uh, SAP's offering of predictive analytical libraries, and we started leveraging that as well. And we find pretty good results using uh, those limited libraries uh, for our solution. So we, we are leveraging both R and the PAL both in our solution. Mm -hmm. So what would be your advice to other startups who saw some use cases where HANA could help them, but they're maybe a little intimidated by the skills challenge of it. What, was it hard, was it easy? How, how do you incorporate that? With, with any new technology, if you look, like uh, you might face that uh, you have to learn new technology, what challenges you are going to face means it is not, I'm, I'm not saying that it is uh, zero challenges. There are challenges, right. but uh, what I find that like uh, SAP HANA Studio and its interface is very user friendly. Uh, like whatever modeling you have to do, that is uh, either creating uh, attribute views or analytical view or calculation view, everything very nice graphically you can see. Also data visualization is very nice in SAP HANA Studio. Uh, those are the basic things which I started and I got attracted. And once we started hitting the road while developing our solution, we find challenges like what I learned during bootcamp and what I have read for my certification, I was like fixed in my mind that, okay, SAP HANA's row tables can be only accessed through uh, business objects uh, universe. But if you want to access other tables using JDBC, you have to be first model. And I presented that idea to Ray saying that, hey, we are not able to access this 
uh, tell us what we are going to do. And we said, okay, fine, we let, let's put that question on forum. So that was our first uh, question we put. And within a couple of hours, we got answer from uh, uh, SAP uh, Startup Forum that, hey, this can be done using JDBC and how exactly that syntax and everything we got. So pretty useful. And actually, let's touch on that for a moment because usually with HANA up to this point, most of the front ends have been through business objects and maybe a little bit through Excel for some old, real old school types. Correct. Um, yes. But you actually built your own front end. Yes. With you, Java based, right? Was that hard? How did you do that? Well, actually, uh, we have our uh, Java based solution for front end, and uh, we had to integrate that thing, uh, getting data out of uh, mm -hmm. uh, SAP HANA, and that is using JDBC connectors. So that was the part I was talking that we faced right. issue and we got answer pretty fast. And be honest, how good is it for the customer? How is the front end for the customer? Oh, it's excellent. I'll tell oh, yeah. you. Like you look at our solution and you feel value in that. Yeah, yep. easy to learn. Very easy. Could right? I learn it in a few minutes if sure. I tried? We can. Yeah, I can me. learn you on this. I, I can. I can teach you on this video itself yeah. if you want. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Well, maybe we'll do that next. Sure. Thanks for sharing. <laughs> Appreciate it.